This is a Sockness Science video podcast, exploring the lives and research of Sockness scientists. I'm Cassandra Brooks. Organic chemistry, which refers to the study of carbon-based molecules, has a notoriously bad reputation for being the hardest and most dreaded undergraduate science class. Eric Sorensen, the Arthur Allen Patchett Professor of Organic Chemistry at Princeton University, admits that he too was intimidated by organic chemistry and even put off taking it until his junior year of college. But then, much to his surprise, he completely fell in love with it. It's a very spatial uh, subject, and, and that is a, a strong draw for me. So the the kind of uh, the three dimensionality of of the molecular world and 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 the vast varieties of, of, of structures that one encounters in organic chemistry is, is very interesting uh, to me personally. Organic chemistry is, is sometimes as, as much an art as it is a science. Eric says he was drawn to the structural beauty of the molecules and the creativity he could employ in designing different sequences. So chemical synthesis, by the way, is is, is a beautiful form of hands-off construction. It's very different from like say building a house. You know when you build a house you know it's a very hands-on kind of affair where you're working with the materials with your own hands and you know putting nails and things and actually building a structure. In, in chemistry um, you don't you know you don't do this kind of hands-on construction. It's the chemical reactions that do the building but you you're the designer so at the front end you're designing the sequence of chemical reactions and you're defining what's going into those reactions but it's, it's, it's a hands-off form of construction Excellent. and it's one that I find endlessly fascinating. A lot of chemists would just go off and become research scientists and you made a choice yeah. to actually be in academia. And yeah. Maybe you could even elaborate a little bit more on why that's valuable. Yeah, I, I mean there are many great jobs in the pharmaceutical industry and I know that, that I know that to be true but in academia you have the freedom to pursue your own idea you can invent, as a chemist, you can invent the materials that you, that you make. And you can make totally new forms of matter and nobody knows anything about their properties until you make them and, and study them. So it's a very creative kind of, activi kind of activity. You needn't make molecules that exist in nature. Those molecules are already made. They're, they're formed in nature. But as a chemist, you can, you can invent new molecules. You can build molecules with important properties. Indeed, organic chemists make most of our plastics, rubbers, and fuels, our cosmetics and detergents, and perhaps most importantly, our pharmaceuticals. One area that I'm especially interested in now, and it's a big problem, is how can we attack resistant bacteria? This is a growing problem. Even today, nearly two million people die each year of pulmonary infections caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, and that's just one form of, of, of bacterial infection that one can get. Today, unfortunately, there are strains of bacteria that um, are, are resistant to all known antibiotics. So one area that we are hoping to make an impact in is, is in the identification and chemical synthesis of new structural types that are associated with powerful um, uh, bacteria killing activity. So that's, that's one area that I think um, demands attention, especially from young scientists who pursue careers in academia. The problem is never going to go away. We're going to always be battling these, these microorganisms that, that can, over time, evade our best drugs. Do you have any other advice for, for say, young people going into organic chemistry? I mean, I think it's a very um, it's, it's often thought of as you know, the hardest class you can take in undergrad and one of the most challenging fields. It's the aesthetic elements of, of organic chemistry that are very easy to see. That, mm -hmm. that was a strong draw to me personally. So if you are someone, if you're a student who, who, really lo you know, who really believes in the scientific method and likes science but also has you know, leanings toward kind of um, if you have a creative spirit and, and, and you like the, like aesthetics, I think that um, it, it has the potential of hooking you. It certainly hooked me and it hooked many other chemists. It's a great field for young people, in my view. And, and you, can, you can be as creative as you want to be in organic chemistry. With the Sockness Science Video Podcast, I'm Cassandra Brooks.